，太牛逼了！嗨、hey、，guys! Welcome to Many EV Channel. Today, let's talk about BYD's intelligence. Unlike manufacturers who are accustomed to sell promissory notes at press conferences, BYD currently shares most of its technology and functions, which can be launched through OTA activation on the Yangwang U8 and Denza N7 models. Especially for the Denza N7, high-speed NOA and remote parking have been launched through OTA in recent days. Intelligence is a highly popular keyword. Especially in the field of smart cars, what's the difference between BYD's choice of intelligence and other car manufacturers? Let's do a brief analysis from the perspective of ordinary Chinese car consumers. The rank of intelligence of a new car depends on the models of the car's infotainment chip, the size and the quantity of the screen, as well as the computing power of the driving assistance chip and the numbers of sensors. This is also the most obvious label of intelligence, and they are almost all concentrated in intelligent cockpit and intelligent driving. BYD's explanation of intelligence incorporates a deep correlation between electrification and intelligence. Deep interconnection and information sharing at the bottom of two systems is a challenge within the industry. It's also the direction explored by various OEMs. The final decision of the central computing unit is to complete the operation of each part of the body. Is the goal of BYD's intelligence. The frequently heard chips from Qualcomm 8155 or 8295 or Nvidia Orin and Horizon J5. They focus on two fields of intelligent cockpit and assist driving respectively. BYD's Xuanzi architecture, on the one hand, integrates computing power and also has comprehensive design considerations in terms of functional safety. And the backup computing platform is ready to take over at any time through gigabit Ethernet to ensure the security needs of intelligent experience. The core capability of BYD's intelligence is the decoupling of software and hardware. This allows BYD's intelligent architecture to effectively support different chips from different manufacturers in order to meet the manufacturing cost of pursuit of different price range models. In the future, it will also have better code reusability. Although it may not be realistic to expect BYD's car infotainment is upgradable, at least users who purchase BYD vehicles do not have to bear excessive development cost premiums for the software. At the same time, because BYD has annual sales volume of 3 million units, the premium on hardware is relatively acceptable. As for the parts, they are more relevant to daily use, such as the ease fun parking function demonstrated by U8, which combines the intelligent driving and automatic parking functions. After the maturity of advanced assist driving, automatic valid parking may become a significant label for the differentiation of the intelligent driving functions. The U10 on the spot and the lateral rear of the car parked horizontally, the hardware of the car is only the foundation. And the real challenge comes from the processing ability of the minor probability cases in the software development process. And BYD can obviously provide users with enough confidence. This is also why BYD has to spend a long communicating with customers about the relatively abstract Xuanzi architecture, because only the Xuanzi architecture can bridge the communication between multiple systems and achieve the intelligent functions that can only be achieved through the cooperation of multiple systems. Considering the scale of BYD's 90,000 engineer team, it's estimated that the time for the new software features to be upgraded to the car will not be too long. In the future, an independent system with powerful performance may not be able to meet complex intelligent requirements. BYD's integration of electrification and the intelligent cockpits has brought a new height to the intelligence of China's automotive industry.